And here we are at the last job of the day. We're doing a hard floor maintenance clean and carpets. And that just entails vacuuming the carpets and then vacuuming and mopping the, the hardwood floors. And this carpet we did on February, February 12th earlier this year. And you're going to see that the carpets still look in great shape as far as the spotting and soiling goes. There are no spots, there are no soils that, that are obvious on the carpet fibers. Of course, there's, there's, there's different soils and dander embedded in the carpet fibers, and we're trying to remove some of that with our CRI approved shark vacuum cleaner and this vacuum cleaner it's a shark clean duo powered lift away vacuum cleaner um, you can get in, in underneath the you know beds and underneath tables and stuff like that with this vacuum cleaner it it uh, pulls apart And this is a great vacuum cleaner. Uh, it has dual brushes, so it's really good for hard floors too. Uh, it's very versatile, that's why we choose it. Plus it's HEPA filtered and CRI approved. But as you can see when we're vacuuming, now we did do a VLM carpet cleaning a, what, probably four months ago. That was in February. And you can see there is no resoiling issues. The pre spray we used for the carpet cleaning in February was Betco Green Earth Peroxide Cleaner. Now, there are a lot of factors that go into to resoiling issues, that, that one of them obviously being the kind of pre spray you're using. But but it could be all sorts of things like lifestyle and and do you take your shoes off you you know uh, it could also be when there's a pet accident what kind of products you're using so so all those high alkaline products that the homeowner can use they can cause resoiling um, there is a dog that stays in here but as you can see. I don't believe this client uses any any kind of uh, cleaner and uh, because I don't think the dog actually goes to the bathroom in this in this uh, in this room here you know this is the only room I'm showing in the house this is the one that was videotaped a few months back but th this carpet is about 30 to 35 years old And we've cleaned it on multiple occasions. The last time was in February. We clean it two to three times a year. But as you can see, there is no kind of resoiling issues. Um, there's high foot traffic in here. And there's still no issues with uh, with obvious resoiling spots on the carpet and this carpet was cleaned using VLM very low moisture with the microfiber bonnet and Bedco Green Earth Peroxide Cleaner that's all we used I believe I used four ounces per gallon could have been six but I, I think it was four and this is a very unique video in the fact that we're we're showing a carpet that was that was cleaned not long ago that had a chance to resoil and did not resoil using the Betco Green Earth Peroxide Cleaner. And maybe I'll start doing a series because I, I go back into these homes often, some of them, and I get to see the results of my products. I get to keep an eye on what's working. 
and you can see that that this this product clearly does a good job this is probably the most one of the most walked in walked in rooms in the house and uh, the carpets look really amazing and now I do maintain these carpets with with uh, frequent vacuuming that's another thing that that vacuuming does remove up to 75 percent of the dry soil in the carpeting so you can see that it's very important to pre-vacuum and I mean vacuum get on a daily or, or, or I mean a, a, a vacuum s schedule you know try to do that as much as often at least once a week and you can see what's the contents that are in the the canister there uh, it's almost full and there's the brushes there I like the dual brush it's really good for agitation and it's actually a light agitation with a uh, with the really good uh, good at removing uh, soil and dander and hair does a great job doing that and uh, thank you for watching take care